Hi, my name is Dan, and in this video, uh, which is part of a short series about vectors, uh, I'm going to show you how to get the length of a vector in Unreal, and it's really, really easy. So I've made a few changes here to the third-person templates. Uh, most importantly is that I've actually moved everything in the world down a bit so that the origin is within this space that we can run around. So that's the world origin, uh, which is zero, zero, zero. And um, I've created a, a little, it's a blueprint, but it's just an object that I've put there. And that is sitting at the world origin, just so that we can see where it is. The other thing I've done is, in the third person character, is I've made a little bit of script here. Uh, all this is doing is that it's taking the event tick, which happens every frame, and it's using a timer to produce uh, an output here once every second. So. Uh, we're going to use this for displaying some stuff. Um, and in fact, uh, let's stay in here and show this because we're in the third person character. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the location vector of the, of the character that we're controlling. And then we're going to find the length of it and we're going to print that length out to the screen. Uh, so the length of a vector is uh, how long the arrow is without consideration of the direction in which it is pointing. So it can be the same length and point in all sorts of different directions. Um, and when you're talking about position vectors, it really is a length. Um, so that's a, it's a distance. Uh, sometimes you're using vectors to represent other things uh, like forces, acceleration, etc. And in which case the length would be the intensity or the amount that that is applied in whatever direction you're talking about. But we're still on position vectors, um, so we'll uh, use the position vector, and it will be basically this will be displaying the distance in Unreal units, which is centimeters from that origin point. Uh, so uh, let's uh, get player location. No, let's get actor location is the one we want. Act or location. And that's given us a vector, right? This could not be easier. There is a vector length node, and that then just returns the length of that vector as a float. And we're just going to print that out as a string. So, I'm just going to make a, a small alteration to this, which is to change the duration. So that is being shown on the screen uh, to 10 seconds. Just so we have a bit of a pile up of those. Right. And let's give this a go. So remember the new ones are always at the top of the list. So we're about 90 centimeters. That's seven meters away. If we get closer, that number comes down. 306. We get right on top of it. We're only 60 centimeters away. So actually the origin for the player character or the, the points in space, which is the location of the player character, uh, is a bit below the, uh, the origin object. So if we jump up, we'll see where it actually goes. Yeah, we're meant to get smaller. But 100, if we're standing on top of it, it's uh, about a meter up. So uh, we can go further away. The furthest we can get, well, we've got 22 meters away. That's quite a lot of space. So there we are. That's a, a quick show. The most important thing in this uh, little video was in here is this node vector length, and that's it from me for now. Mm -hmm.